Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Lego minifigures series 17 that was just released. I'm going to open all these for you. I do have the full set and I am going to show you the bump codes. The bump codes are something that aren't as reliable as what they used to be but I'm going to show them to you anyways because a lot of times people just want to see it and I'll also show you what to feel for when you're looking for a particular character. So the first one we have is the butterfly girl and this piece was really easy to feel for and of course her wings. It's a pretty big piece inside the bag. And here's what the butterfly girl looks like put together. She does have a flower on her face and a couple printed on her hair. And this is her bump code. So this is the Roman Gladiator. The easiest piece to feel for is this trident. It's very noticeable in the bag. And here he is fully assembled. A little bit of printing on the arm and back. And his bump code looks like this. Cape. This is the little retro spaceman. He has this very little, very unique little gun. So that's really the key piece to look for. This set was a little bit easier to put together and defined um, than the rest of the sets because everyone had a unique piece. And sometimes in the set there's similar pieces per character, but it wasn't this way in this series. So very easy to find. And he's pretty cool put together. His helmet also is pretty unique and you could also feel for that if you'd like. I tend to always go for the accessories. They're easier for me to pick out. This is what his bump code looks like. Just two dots in the corner. And the number on the bag is 401B7. So typically how bump codes work is they're only reliable um, if the stamped number on the back is the same. And I think those vary by box. So these may or may not be helpful to you. Here's one of my favorites from the series. This is the chef. So the hat has like hair attached to it so that's easy to feel for. Also the pie. And then there's a little whisk. So I'll put her together and show you what she looks like. And here's the chef. Bunch of little strawberries printed on the pie which is really cute. And her bump code. And this is the surfer guy. Of course, this is the biggest piece and it's very distinctive and easy to feel for. So if you're looking for the surfer, look for the surfboard when you feel the bag. Here is the surfer. I love his little shark surfboard. It does have a little bit of printing on the side. And his bump code, two dots in the corner and one over here. Another one of my favorites. I tend to like all the minifigures that have food or animals with them. So this is the little French guy. You could feel for the dog. He has a little flat hat and then the bread. The bread I think is what I noticed first and then I felt for the animal. Here's the French guy. His little sad face and his mustache and his little beret. Very cute. Definitely one of my favorites. And 
And this is the Vet. She has a weird headpiece or hairpiece. It almost feels like a helmet. But then the bunny is very small and pretty easy to feel for through the bag. I forgot to show the French guy's code. So that's what his bump code looks like. There's a bunch at the bottom. Sometimes they're hard to tell because they look like little air bubbles. So very difficult at times. And this is the bump code for the vet. And this is what she looks like. So we're about halfway through. This one we kind of call the Miami Vice guy. Not sure if that's the right name for him, but he has this little cell phone and it's all in different pieces. So these are very easy to feel for. And then of course this, so lots of different options there when looking for him. And here's the Miami Vice guy with his ginormous cell phone. This is bump code, just has two dots in the corner. So we are officially halfway through. There's 16 in the set. One of them is kind of like a mystery one, um, but I'm sure you guys might have seen pictures of him that were released and floating around the internet. And here we have the hot dog man, another one of my favorite from this series. Lots of things here to feel for. You have this tray, the hot dog, the little cup, lots of different options. Here's the hot dog man. My only complaint with this is it's kind of hard to hold his tray properly because then it's at an angle. So if you put it this way, it still kind of slides around. But it is a very cute minifigure. There's a little smiley face pin on his little uniform. Very cute. A little bit of printing on the back. There's little food accessories. Very cool. And his bump code looks like that. Next up is the dance instructor or the fitness instructor. She has a very bumpy, crazy hairpiece. Not much else, really. Her little water bottle is in two different pieces, so you could kind of feel that. That's kind of a unique feeling. I didn't think this was going to be one of my favorites, but this one is pretty cool. Her little water bottle says H2O on it. She's got the whole 80s aerobic dance instructor vibe. So that's pretty cute. Oh, I forgot to show her bump coat. I'll show you here in just a second. This one is the elf girl. There's still a piece in here. So we have her very long hair piece, her sword, and her base. So she doesn't have legs like the rest of the characters do. She has the Typical kind of female base that they put on there if they're wearing like a skirt. And she has a shield to feel for. So backing up, here's the dance instructor's bump code. And the bump code for the elf girl. And that's what she looks like. The printing has a little metallic sheen to it. Her little elf ears. And this one was the first one that I felt, the first bag that I picked up. I look for his little dumbbell. Very, very, very easy to pick out. He also has this little mustache piece, 
But there's another character we haven't got to yet that has one similar to this, so don't confuse that. Always look for the barbell or something else that's going to go in their hand or as another accessory. This is probably another favorite of mine from this series. He has these angry eyebrows, this funny mustache that is huge. He's just really cool looking. So only four left. So pieces are stuck here. And again, forgot to show you that bump code, so let me back up here in a second. So this is the Battle Dwarf. So he has the short legs. All sorts of pieces to feel for. Um, this is the one that I said that kind of mimics the um, mustache one. And then his axe is in two different pieces. So you can feel for that. And then he has this little tiny hammer. And it has some printing on it. Kind of looks like a boar on it. That's pretty cool. Here's the bump code for the strongman and the bump code for the battle dwarf. I think this is a bump, but it kind of might pass for an air bubble, so be cautious of that. Like I said, always feel for the accessories because that's going to be your best way of telling what's in the bag. And another little angry face minifigure. He does have another boar printed on his chest. That's a little detail there, a little bit on his arms and on his back. His little mohawk is pretty cool. I think this is my other favorite one. You could feel it through the bag. The corn cob guy. He's very easy to spot because of this big piece, but don't get him confused with the Rocket Man. Um, you can actually feel the bumps from the corn cob, so look for that. And here is the corn cob man. His ginormous mustache cracks me up. He's pretty cool. And I'll show you his bump code here in just a second. I keep skipping over that. So here's the Rocket Man. Another solid, huge piece in there, but you can feel the tip of this and the hole. So that's kind of what I looked for when I felt through the bag. And he also has all these other pieces that the corn guy doesn't have, so you can look for those as well. Here is the bump code for the corn cob guy and the Rocket Man. This is what the Rocket Man looks like. Very cute. I love the costume ones. And the last one is the mystery figure on the bag. Kind of like that they did a mystery figure. Kind of fun. So they're calling him the Highwayman. And he has these two identical guns, so that's an easy thing to look for. He also has this hat, it's in a triangle shape. And again, he has one of those little things that goes around the head. This is his little bandana instead of like a mustache or a beard like the other ones have. But I would look for the guns and possibly the hat. And this is the bump code for the highwayman. Two over here and one in the corner. And this is one I didn't think that I would like, but I actually like him a lot. Typically any of the ones that are like the gladiators or the warriors or things with weapons I don't really care for, but this guy's pretty cool. Lots of printing on the front. And that was the mystery guy from series 17. And here is the insert that came inside. Shows all the characters to collect. There's the highwayman. And then on the back, it shows you how to set up some of the more difficult ones. So that is the full series 17. Thank you so much for watching, and please comment below who is your favorite character from this series. Bye, guys.